Well, in this growing digital age, tech jobs are in high demand. And here in Florida, there are more than 22,000 computer jobs available. But the problem is there aren't enough skilled candidates to fill them. That's where Launch Code comes in. The nonprofit provides training, teaching people of all backgrounds how to code and then help set them up with careers in technology. Here to tell us more is Matt Mulwiney, Director of Candidate Engagement for Launch Code, Software Engineer Al Delcy, Lead Instructor with Launch Code, and Judy Rincon, a Launch Code graduate and a teaching assistant. Welcome to all of you. Thanks for being here. Thank Thanks you. for having us, Pam. Okay, and in full disclosure, Matt is my first cousin. So uh, <laughs> it's the elephant in the room. We got to get that it, it, out we gotta there. We got to get that out there because you were able to just call me right up on the phone and say, "We have to talk about Launch Code. It's so important." Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And so here we are. Here we are. So tell us about Launch Code. A lot of folks don't know about it. They've never heard about it. So what is it? Absolutely. And one thing I want to mention too is Judy uh, is a graduate uh, teaching assistant for upcoming class. She also works at MasterCard. So uh, after completing the class she took, uh, Judy went to work at MasterCard. Which so, is excellent. Yeah. yeah. And that's the whole purpose of all of this is to educate <coughs> people in coding, at, which leads to great careers in technology. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so Launch Code, we're a national nonprofit. And our mission is to make those careers in technology, those good paying careers accessible. And we do that through free computer science education and then the job placement portion of what we do. So we structure those as apprenticeships. So someone goes in, they get a kind of a trial to hire period so the employer can see if they're a good fit. And then 80% of the time, those candidates end up getting hired into good paying technology jobs. Which is pretty outstanding. Yeah. Yeah. So Al, you are one of the instructors. Tell us a little bit about how this all works. What goes on in class? Uh, what goes on in class <laughs> is that we, kind of try to guide people who have barely little experience to uh, in computers and programming and we kind of demystify the whole programming aspect of coding, uh, building websites, building applications and it's kind of like unveiling the wizard behind the <laughs> <laughs> Wizard of Oz. I'm behind kind of dating, the curtain. Behind yeah, the what's curtain. going on? Exactly. Yeah. So um, we have kids and we have uh, teenagers, we have uh, middle school kids learning programming right now and we are kind of trying to catch up the rest of the population uh, with programming. So teaching them on demand skills for South Florida, filling up the jobs that um, we have in South Florida. And we're kind of trying to teach them what they need to learn coding and learn how to solve problems and her learn what the companies need right now in South Florida. So, so Judy, tell us a little bit about your story. How did you get into this? You're an Air Force veteran. Yes. So after you got out of the military, what happened after that? Um, I jumped from field to field. I was in marketing. I was also in real estate. And I was pretty much looking for my niche. And I came across a newspaper article about Launch Code. And I was intrigued. So I filled out the application. I went through with the process. And I showed up to class <laughs> not knowing what to expect at all. And the, the journey was really fun. It was difficult, but it required a lot of focus and a lot of dedication, but I made it through. And I'm glad that I did because it opened a lot of doors for me. Was it something that you had never even imagined or dreamed of doing? Not at all. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm, I was tech savvy, but on a basic level, I never thought that this was something that I would take as a career. Yeah, and let's talk about that. She said she wasn't tech savvy. And Matt, there are a lot of folks who don't have any kind of background at all in computers or science or math, right? Correct. And yeah. you can do this. Yes, you can <laughs> absolutely do this. So we gear our programs for people who have had no prior experience with coding before, and they're able to come in, uh, learn, and succeed in our classes. Yeah. So let's talk about the makeup of the classes, because we have Judy here, but how many, like, what's the ratio of men to women in these classes? Yes, yeah, so in what, what we see in our classes is generally about a 35% female to male ratio. So we always sort of trying to push that number higher, but, but if you look at say tech industry stats, that 35% well outpaces what you might see in a typical tech workplace or in a typical computer science program at a four year degree college. Right, so trying to get that up. So I'll talk about this class that's about to start. It's going to be held at the Little, Little Haiti, Haiti Cultural, Cultural Center. Center. Okay. Exactly. It's going to be from Monday to um, Mondays and Wednesdays from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. It's going to be a 28-week class, and we're going to be teaching from uh, the basics with Python, and then we're going to be teaching C Sharp and Java. Wow. So, like, that just sounds so foreign to me in a way. I hate to say, I mean, I've heard of Java. But um, what does that lead to? Like, I graduate, and, and what can I do with that information? What kind of jobs are out there? Also, after the program, what we do, Launch Code helps place the students into 
uh, in-demand jobs. So we have companies that work in partnership with LaunchCode, and what they do, they ask for um, apprentice, apprentices who just finished the program, we send them over and they are able to work with the company and eventually get placed into full-time positions with them. So we do the, do the whole thing from teaching them to placing them in jobs that are in demand in South Florida. And Judy, that's what you did, right? You were an apprentice. Tell us about that. Correct. Um, I started off as an apprentice at MasterCard and um, I brought my skill set to MasterCard and everyone thinks that MasterCard is a payments uh, company, but it's actually a technology company. So uh, I'm learning everything from all kinds of innovative technology that you know I, I learned with launch code without because I was your instructor right yes yeah. he was yeah. an amazing student <laughs> <laughs> so at the time um, Al was a teacher's assistant but he spent lots of hours with me after class and we would spend a lot of time and he really helped me and pushed me to the end so I'm very grateful for him yeah that's so cool so and then and now you're working full-time at MasterCard so that's great because the whole thing led to a job and a career which is what you wanted wanted to do ultimately so for anybody and all three of you could, could answer this. Anybody who's watching this and says, wow, that sounds really exciting. This might be that next step that I need to take, but I'm a little afraid. What would you say? What would you say, Matt? I would say don't, don't doubt yourself. Yeah. Take a chance. Apply to the class and, and come do it. Yeah. And as far as money concerned, because, again, the mission is to get this to, is to teach people in the community who may not have thought that they could do this the opportunity to code kind of like yeah. say look you can learn this right yeah yeah so in terms of money the class itself is free so that we want we don't want any barriers to acquiring the skills and then in terms of what you can make after the class so you go in earning fifteen dollars an hour as a launch code apprentice but the real sort of payoff comes when you convert to a full-time employee yeah. and you see a starting salary of around $60,000 wow. a year, and then you get two to three years of experience under your belt, you could be earning 80, 90, or even $100,000 a year. Yeah. Without yeah. any additional debt, you know, and, and our classes are part-time, so you're not even having to necessarily go, you know, go to school during the day or you right. know, leave your current job to yeah, do yeah. that. Okay, but you do have to bring your computer. Bring you a do laptop, have to bring right? your computer. Bring your own computer. That's right. All right, thank you guys so much. It was great to have you. Great to have the cuz here. Absolutely, I'm sure absolutely. The, the fans proud of us, and it was great to meet both of you as well. Thank you thank so you. much. No and to sign up for Launch Code's upcoming Intro to Computer Programming course, you don't have a whole lot of time. Applications are only being accepted until July the 15th. For more on this and other courses available, visit launchcode.org. As always, we're going to have all of this information for you on our Facebook page at your South FL.